Hello, my beautiful mystic vibe tribers. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for the weekend energy beginning November the 24th through the November the 26th. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is our collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And don't forget, we have the beautiful retreat going on in January in Key West, Florida. So check that out. It's also available to view on the website and you can get more details there. And you can always email me if you have any questions. So let's see what we've got crack a lacking here, cranking up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness, and moving forward to use the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our energy to create our best possible life now. Let's see what the cards have to say. Bang! We have the two of swords and the moon. So you see these two swords are bent. They're bent because logic isn't going to work here. Logic does not manifest. Logic adds things up and, and measures things and creates things and does things like that. It creates things in the natural. When we're wanting to manifest something, it's, it's something that we're bringing in from the quantum. So it has to be in the right brain energy and miraculous mindset. So logic isn't always the way to go. And logic, it's telling you, logic isn't going to serve you in this case manifesting is and this is the manifestor's moon it is the moon card and it's the beautiful energy of the pisces now all water sign energies and all other people i mean everything in this universe uh, or in our in our world uh, literally is pulled by that moon so it, it gives the ebb and flow and all of that and it's also known as an embryo for my guides they have told me this is the embryo of creation as you focus you can use that moon to imbibe whatever you're trying to create with life itself so you see she's got the pillars the two octahedrons on either side because as above so below so as she's focusing her energy she's creating it in the now you just have to keep your focus let go of the need for it to make sense because you can talk yourself out of a miracle every day if you think it's got to be logical. That's all I'm saying. Don't make it hard. Just let it come in. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit, four of pentacles. This is money in the bank and financial security. We love that. The four of pentacles showing up. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, we have our first three cards out. And... The underlying energy is reflection in the hermit card, looking at the inner, the inner path, right? So this is where we also have to take some stock in what we believe in, look at our, our belief system and what we have qualified as true and untrue, and find out where, you know, some things we believe in may not actually have truth in them. They may be something we jumped to a conclusion on or had a, you know, got it when we were young and really didn't fully understand it. I can, I can check 90% off of my misunderstandings to that, just not having the information because we're not born with a manual, to get to this stuff, right? So this is doing that soul searching and finding your inner path because you're already aligned with what's true for you. I mean, as far as what's your path and what you should be going forward, what you came here to do, it's already there. There's a seed already in you. All you have to do is get all the junk out of the way so that it can get the proper nutrients it needs and actually blossom and go forward. But it takes a little bit of excavation. Now, we have the... No Doubt card, which is a great band in my opinion. I love me some Gwen Stefani. But it's standing for the energy of not being in a place where you agree with your doubts. This means when the doubts show up, you have the strength enough to quash those and be able to move forward knowing that just because doubt shows up doesn't mean it's true. Just because you have a doubt or someone else doubts you, that should spur you on. 
I will eventually achieve success because I don't allow myself to doubt. It does not say anywhere in here that doubt isn't going to show up. It's saying that you don't receive it. Okay, so that's what I say all the time. You're going to ask my friends. I don't receive that when they tell me so, I'm, I'm, I don't receive that. I'm sorry, but I don't receive that. <laughs> You're barking up the wrong tree with that one, right? Sometimes, and they don't mean to. They're not trying to give me anything funky. They're just cautioning me. And I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, I don't receive that. I bounce it right back off. And we have the focus energy because what you focus on is what you attract. I focus my logical mind, now this is where the logical mind does matter, to make smart, effective business decisions. Logic and business is, is all about it. Business is 100%. You've got to make logical decisions in that. But in creating something that doesn't exist in order to create the business you want, that's something that you would not want to depend on logic. Especially if logic shows up to try to cancel it. That's, that's the main thing you have to really get is that logic is great, but when it comes into contradiction to what you're trying to create, you have to drop the logic and create anyway. Drop that logic like a hot rock. Perfect timing. The universe is really good about perfect timing, even though we think it's not fast enough. We're always going, oh, it just happened now so I can stop worrying about it. Stop worrying about it and it will happen. Hello, you. I mean, that's easier than said than done, I know, because I'm the one telling myself that. So this is all what we do. This is, this is the process. We put, put ourselves through a process, and we have to be okay with that. Don't rush yourself, and certainly don't, don't get discouraged. The root chakra is the energy of, of being anchored in, and being stable. We need stability to build anything upon top of that. The frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies and in the physical world. The root chakra is a feeling of safety and security when you know you can move and do things without fear. So if you're having that kind of instability energy, meditate with that, get that root chakra vibration going. We have positive outcome. At this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. Whether through love, fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive, and you will create a positive outcome. Remember, that's what the card said before this. <laughs> the card that came out first. I can't remember which one it was, but it, it was talking. Oh, yeah. It was talking about positive, being positive. Uh, no doubt. There you go. Just having, there's no doubt you will have a positive outcome. Patience. Now, that's what we have to be in this divine timing energy. We have to be patient. Patience is required at the moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like. Yet there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing concern is evolving positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is perfect as it is. Trust. You are eternally loved and guided. And so it is. You are. You have everything you need. We just don't know how to pull it out and and. and open it up into the into the action energy sometimes we just have to allow it to unfold itself i think that's more the way it's intended so we have the eight of pentacles which is the energy of you have completed every single thing you need to do in order to master whatever new skill or new ability that you're trying to do this could be something that has to do with a work thing or it could be something that you do for fun it's learning something new which always the creativity of one thing opens up all the creativity of all other things in your life it can actually create the momentum for you so be creative allow creative energy use the energy to do that whether it's music or art writing uh, food some people like to cook they're very creative with cooking or they do things in their home this is you know like to remodel right creative like to paint a dresser I've got a raggedy old dresser I've been saying I was going to do forever so this is that kind of energy is allow yourself to be creative because the creativity opens the doors this is a yes from the universe for you to move forward the landing field is ready for you to go with it so yay team 
Now, we have the Knight of Wands, which is the energy of being able to take the action because he's showing up saying, it's time to do this. Let's do it. So with the Eight of Pentacles, you are more than excited that you have the ability and you have the skill. This is the Apprentice card. So it's allowing you to move forward into this new energy. And look at that. So if you look at this energy, she's looking within and it's something that it's you know it's an internal thing this is something that it's just almost the same kind of image only now it's in your path and you can actually walk this energy this is the judgment card this is something being resurrected from the past whether it's a relationship a job any opportunity at all that's coming in that you thought was off the table it's now returned now it may not be in the exact circumstance but it's returning in a new way. And there it is. So we'll take that. It's a, it is an opportunity nonetheless. And it's being brought back for a reason. Whatever timing was off the last time, you're now in alignment with the new timing. So we'll take that. And thank you, Archangel Gabriel, for coming in. Now, the, normally there's an angel in this blowing a big trumpet in the standard tarot. So many blessings to you. Have a beautiful weekend, and I will see you again on Monday. Namaste, my friends.